The Canadian embassy has remained closed since early this month, while the United States has told its citizens and diplomats working in the country not to stray too far from their homes and offices. Egyptian officials fear the closure of the foreign embassies and travel warnings could severely affect recovery efforts of the economy. Tourism will be greatly affected during this current period, particularly because tourists come to Egypt during the holidays, Christmas and New Year. The number of tourists always increases during this time, so I think Egypt will lose a large number of tourists during this time. And I think the decline will continue for a long time, even if no terrorist acts take place, so some of these embassies are expecting. Egypt is battling an Islamist insurgency largely centered around Sinai, an area near the border with Israel, Gaza and the Suez Canal. Sources close to the matter say the threats had prompted the embassies to close their doors after suspected militants detained by Egyptian authorities confessed of plans to target foreign embassies. As well as tourism, it's feared the embassy closures will also make investors nervous, damaging an already fragile economy. Besides tourism, there's going to be an impact on foreign investment, whether direct or indirect. The impact on indirect investment will be quick. It is expected that the size of foreign investment on Egypt's stock market during this week and next week will decline greatly. Foreigners will, be sell Foreigners will sell more than they'll buy, which might lead to a decline in the stock market index and a decline in the stock market trade. Economic expert Ihab El Dusuki fears a major terrorist attack in the North African country could cause long-lasting damage to the economy. If any terrorist activities take place, as these embassies expect, foreign investment might really be affected for a long time. But if there is no big terrorist act, I think the foreign investment will continue at the same rate. The rate in Egypt is generally depressed. Procedures will be delayed for a couple of weeks and then they'll pick up again. Egypt says it has taped up efforts to fight terrorism in the country. It has also pledged to offer increased security to foreigners who feel targeted by terrorists. Wazir Hamsin, CCTV.